Hey everyone, I'm Bobby Kishi with Stitch, and today I wanted to highlight how we can integrate data to Braze and how we can integrate to Braze when there may not be a productized integration in place already. So first to highlight the four key ways that we can integrate data into Braze. Number one is through the SDK. Braze has both a mobile and web SDK that integrates directly into their platform or through the API. So this could be through um, any number of different platforms or from your website or from your own proprietary platform that we can use Braze's REST API to send data into it. Next is cloud data ingestion. So this is through many of the key data warehouses in the market today, Redshift, BigQuery, Snowflake, and Databricks. Next is by CSV. So if you have a use case for a flat file through an S3 bucket or through the, the interface itself. Lastly, our tech partners. This is where Braze um, has worked with another company to build out what we think of as a productized integration, where some platform has taken their API and their data and created a connection, or they've normalized that data to be able to share it with Braze and vice versa. Two great examples of this, one is AccuWeather, where we can bring uh, forecasts as well as current um, conditions from AccuWeather into Braze, so that way we can personalize our messaging based on weather. The second is SmartLing um, through language translations. So if I have a campaign that I need to be translated in 18 different languages from Braze, I can send that out to SmartLing. SmartLing will send it back all through their productized integrations through tech partners. So if you come up with a situation where you need to integrate a platform into Braze that isn't on that tech partner list, doesn't have a productized integration, what do we do? Great, great example, most common example here is Salesforce. Salesforce is a very powerful CRM used by hundreds of thousands of companies across the, the world and primarily using sales and service cloud for CRM. So in that scenario, Salesforce has what we call what we call or think of as a standard data model that and you can build upon that. But that standard data model primarily is leads, contacts, accounts and opportunities. From there, we can build custom objects for whatever um, reason we might need to store data in Sales and Service Cloud. So within Salesforce, using the contact object as an example, I might have all of the key fields I need to manage a contact, such as email, first name, and city. So to make sure that that data then gets translated over to Braze, what we need to do is we need to take Salesforce's data model and map it to Braze's data model. For this example, Braze's attribute and event data model has these key fields in it already. So we've got email, first name, and city. And we can add any custom fields we want to on the Salesforce side and map them on the Braze side. So then how do we get this data, these three pieces of uh, fields into Braze so that way we can use it for messaging, orchestration, et cetera. The easiest way to do this is using a standard functionality within Salesforce called Flows. Flows is a automation or processing engine that's available in every edition of Salesforce. So whether you have unlimited or enterprise or whatever it might be, it's available and it's free to use. So in using flows, what we can do is we can listen to anything that's happening to Salesforce in real time. So what I can do is I can say, anytime a new contact is created, I want you to send that information to wherever I want it to go. So I build out a flow. I create a rule that says every time a contact is created, send that and create a new user in Braze. So what this step is doing is it's mapping the data from Salesforce into the data in Braze. So that way, anything that's on that contact record, okay, will then show up on the Braze side. We'll highlight a video next week of showing you how this can be accomplished in the UI between both Salesforce and Braze as well.